What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Dark Hold in War Offense and how this is pretty much the new War Offense meta. They do really, really well in War Offense. They're able to beat the likes of Weapon X, Heroes for Hire, Young Avengers. Um, pretty much your metal war defense teams, they're going to destroy them. And we're going to break that down in today's video. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to like, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, here we go. So Dark Hold. I was honestly expecting them to be, if not the best war offense team, one of the better war offense teams because it's a legendary character. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to beat the likes of Weapon X because that is a team that, uh, you know, it's got its own legendary here with Omega Red and it was built to be like your Apex war offense team. And uh, pretty much Darkhold's gonna going to handle it pretty easily. It's not going to be a big punch up, I think. Um... Yeah, I don't see I don't see you doing like big punch ups against Weapon X with this team, but you're able to beat on a punch across. And let's be honest here, this is the like the new meta arena team. You're gonna be heavily investing in Darkhold anyways. So, you know, all those all those hefty war offense or Weapon X teams you're probably gonna see out there. Usually they're safe for offense. You may see some on war defense. And if you do, just use Darkhold. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's pretty freaking easy. Now when the tables are flipped and you're fighting against Dark Hold with Weapon X, you actually win pretty handily as long as you uh, as long as you get plenty of bleeds on Morgan. It seems to not be an issue. So we'll break that down in a separate video talking about War Defense with Dark Hold. They're very strong on War Defense as well, but they are uh, they are a force to be reckoned with on offense. So still trying to learn the uh, the kits here a little bit with everybody. And just trying to trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. But yeah, there we go. Ability block on Omega Red, which is huge. Like, you're always going to get ability block on Omega Red with Morgan's ability here. Because it puts the ability block and trauma on controller enemies. That is what that is what Omega Red is. So he will always get that trauma and ability block. Flip two positive effects and negative effects on all non-controller enemies. So all that defense up and offense up and speed up and etc. is all going to get flipped. So now we've got ability block and trauma on Omega Red. He is now stuck with that. So we have delayed his ultimate for one turn. We have a little bit longer that we can go on uh, without having to worry too much about him. But there we can flip that defense up. At least we try to flip the defense up. Actually, yeah, no. So we didn't uh, we didn't flip anything there on Omega Red, but we did reduce his speed bar. Gives us a little bit of a longer window. And that allows some of these characters to go a little bit more. Now... You are noticing that there is a lot of low health on my team already. And yeah, that is that is an issue. And I don't know why I didn't use the ultimate there from Agatha. I should have. I didn't. But uh but yeah, that was a that was an issue. And now we're yeah, I'm I'm kind of like dancing around waiting for this for the rewind with Morgan. And here's the thing, you can see like how low of health she and Wong are. And this is what I was talking about, is if you get a lot of bleeds on Morgan and Wong, this could be an issue. And this was my, this is how I countered, uh, this is how I countered Darkhold with Weapon X, was I stacked up the bleeds on Morgan. Without Morgan, this team really falls apart, because you need to get to our speed rewind here. So, we use the rewind here, with Morgan, and that's going to allow my whole team to pretty much go right away. Lots of negative effects everywhere. Gonna hammer Omega Red a little bit here. And then we get the Strange Ultimate here. And that's gonna finish off most of the team at that point. So really the key for Fighting Weapon X is to get to that ultimate or get to the rewind ability with Morgan. At that point, you're in a pretty good spot. There we go. And now we just have Silver Samurai left. Yeah, of course, could have used the, the heal there. This could have been a little bit better, too. I did notice that um, I did get a stun on Scarlet Witch early on with the ultimate from Silver Samurai. And that was a bit of a problem because I could have used the heal ability from Scarlet Witch to help kind of top off these characters a little bit earlier. Um, so it could have been a little bit more manageable. But yeah, you can see the issue when fighting against Weapon X with a lot of bleeds. If your Morgan gets picked on, you could very easily lose this. But if, uh, if Morgan survives up to her special... It's over at that point. So this one's dicey. I don't think you're gonna punch. You know, I don't think you're gonna punch up with uh, with Darkhold against Weapon X. But uh, this is definitely a counter to Weapon X. If you do ever find them on defense, you probably won't find many of them on defense. But you will see a lot of this on defense. And this is Heroes for Hire. 
And again, not sh not too confident in a lot of punch ups, but again, this is a team we're talking about with the arena meta. You're going to be investing a lot into this team because you need those power cores from arena. So this is going to be a heavy investment team with arena. I'm sure there's going to be some use for them and the and the raids as well. We'll do some raid testing too at some point. But um, yeah, you're going to have to deal with the opening salvo from Heroes for Hire, like always. Wong's going to get the ability block and disrupted because he's the highest health character. But here's the fun thing is because a couple of them took turns. Now you've built up speed bar on Darkhold here. So we're just going to start uh, start doing some things there. And this is uh, this is what we really want to do. We want to get disrupted and slow on the primary target here. And you could go for anybody. I went for Luke Cage. Um, I could have gone for like Shang-Chi or Iron Fist as well. You don't want to go for Misty or Colleen because they have a lot of bonus, uh, a lot of bonus resistance because of the extra stack of charge from Shang-Chi. But really, you do ideally want to get that disrupted because that will be able to apply the disrupted to Luke Cage because it spreads. Won't, won't spread stun or ability block, but you get that disrupted on Luke. And now that's going to allow you to take out some of these other characters here without worrying about Luke taunting. So you see, like, we got a defense down on Iron Fist here. Yeah, it's not bad. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna reduce speed bar on Iron Fist. And here, did a ton of damage to Iron Fist. And now we're just going to go for Shang-Chi. I'm going to work our way through Shang-Chi and uh, hopefully get some, uh, get some nice damage on him. We're going to heal up a little bit here, get some deflex on our team, cleanse, some negative effects, Get the Iron Fist front onto Morgan. And we did get an ability block on Misty, which is nice, because that means we don't have to worry about her stun. There we go. And now we get to the rewind. And again, it's the it's the same principle as uh, as Weapon X. You get to that rewind, and you're pretty good to go at this point. Still have that disrupt on Luke. So this is allowing you to take out some of these other characters here. There you go, dropped a bunch of people low on health. It did kill Iron Fist, which is fine. Took off his final stack of charged. Now we've got, uh, now we have Luke, who has gotten rid of the disrupt because he fell low on health. But at this point, we can easily kill Shang-Chi and, and Iron Fist. Not going to be much of an issue. Got some heal blocks going out there. And now we're going to prolong the offense down and heal block on characters. Now there's defense down on them as well. But now we're stuck with a taunt on Luke. So not ideal, but Wong is uh, Wong is a beefy boy, and he is just taking the hits. Uh, Wong is a fantastic protector character now, just able to constantly just take the hits, keep on going, countering, dealing some so dealing some decent damage as well. You get some nice damage, and then uh, there we go. Okay, so we did not get rid of the taunt on Luke, but we're gonna try to do that. We're gonna try to just kill off Luke. So now. Actually, we got rid of the taunt on Luke finally. Now we can finish off Shang-Chi if possible. Did get a heal on a couple characters, but because it's a, there was a stun on Luke, if we dropped anybody low on health, then we could uh, kill them without, without Luke taunting. Now let's try to finish off Iron Fist, and we can start working on some of these uh, charges on Colleen and Misty. This fight's taking a while, and again, like I said, I'm not too sure how much, how much you're going to punch up on Heroes for Hire, but again, because you're going to be investing so much in this team, I don't really think it's going to be an issue of finding massive punch-ups with Darkhold and War. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. Calling's pretty much done, and now it's just Misty left. And yeah, at this point, it's uh, it's pretty easy. So yeah, this one was uh, was nice and easy to see. Could have gotten a little dicey if Morgan got picked on a little bit more, but you know, the constant negative effects, the traumas and everything that you can apply, it's pretty good. So we're going to wrap this up with Young Avengers. And there was more testing I wanted to do. I didn't have a lot of time last night. One team I did try on offense against Darkhold that I know people are going to want to know is Secret Avengers. And because you have the speed bar boost with Sam, not going to work. The minions that they all summon just jack up the speed bar on, uh, on Darkhold. So... Secret Avengers gets easily destroyed by Darkhold. Uh, New Warriors shouldn't be much of an issue either. Like, they're built to counter, like, Darkhold's built to counter Mystic characters. So, New Warriors is just going to get trounced by uh, by Darkhold. There's really nothing 
else in terms of like really meta war defense teams. I didn't try against Emma. I didn't try against the Marauders with Madeline just yet, but I didn't think that one was going to be an issue because a lot of negative or a lot of bonus focus with your uh, with your Dark Cold team. They've got that defense up and safeguard. They're not going to really uh, take a lot of damage from the Marauders team, so I didn't really uh, do a lot of testing on it. But um, but yeah, this one is uh, this one's uh, this one's going to be pretty nice and easy. We got to disrupt over there on Ms. Marvel. So if we start hammering Squirrel Girl at all, like we're about to do, then uh, then yeah, it's gonna be nice and easy. Now, there we go, we got the stun prolonged on Squirrel Girl with with Scarlet Witch. So now we've got two turn stun on Squirrel Girl. There's gonna be plenty of time to just kind of pick on her. We, uh, we got the blind on Wong here, so not really gonna do much. Um, you know, I thought maybe he would transfer the blind before, but he does not, so he missed, but you know, it is what it is. Rewind time with uh, with Morgan. That disrupt on Ms. Marvel's allowing us to pick on Squirrel Girl. Now we can take out Kate Bishop without any problems. We got immunity on our team, so even then, like with the immunity on our team, yeah, we got uh, we got like uh, so there we uh, we drop some low on health. Kate Bishop does her passive trigger, but everybody on our team has immunity, so there's no blind on our team at that point. And yeah, this is easy. So you're gonna punch up big time against Young Avengers, for sure. Anything that's not Weapon X and Heroes for Hire should not be a problem at all for Darkhold on War Offense. They're going to beat pretty much anything that you're going to run to right now on defense. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, does this have you a little more excited for Darkhold with War? Is this going to make you invest in them a little bit more if you're not so focused on Arena? Let me know down below. As always, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.